A slew of charges were just announced against 20 year old Kyle Fernandez, including reckless endangerment and leaving the scene of a crash. He's the driver accused of hitting 10 people while in a stolen car on Manhattan's east side. CBS News Elijah Westbrook now with the very latest. We now know 20 year old Kyle Fernandez was the driver involved in a wild police chase in Midtown Tuesday afternoon. Police tell us he's being hit with a slew of charges, including reckless endangerment, leaving the scene of an accident, fleeing from an officer, and driving while impaired by drugs. Police say they are still seeking his female passenger who fled the scene on foot. We're also learning the car he was driving was reported stolen on Monday from the Bronx. Fernandez thought he could get away, but not without a fight after a group of of good Samaritans tackle him to the ground. Pictures here show the 20 year old reckless driver on the ground after police say he struck 10 people. Witnesses say it was a chaotic scene. I see the red car, the police behind. He speed past the bus, hit the, the, the yellow cab, and then from the yellow cab where he hit him, he gained the sidewalk and hit the people who was on the street. Chopper 2 flying over 42nd Street and Lexington Avenue showing the aftermath. Investigators say the mayhem started with this reportedly stolen maroon Hyundai. They say a license plate reader spotted the car at 45th and 2nd Avenue around 5.30 p.m. Tuesday. Cops say they attempted to stop the car, but seconds later, it took off, making its way to Lexington and hitting a bicyclist and a yellow cab at the corner of 42nd. Police say several people were hit on the sidewalk. Walk, but the driver of the stolen car wasn't done. Investigators tell us the car then jumped the curb and hit several people before making a U turn within the intersection. Ten people were injured, including a six year old child, all of them, officials say, non life threatening. The most severe being um, an ankle fracture to a young lady, and the others were just minor abrasions and uh, neck and back pain. Police say they do not believe this was terrorism related. Of course, the investigation into this matter continues. Reporting here in Midtown East, I'm Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News.